What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And today we found what I believe is the nicest motor coach on the market right now for under $1 million. This 2017 Prevo X3 Emerald Coach is a bath and a half double slide. Now those of you that have been following the channel for a long time know I'm a huge fan of Emerald Luxury Coaches. I've done several videos with John Walker, the CEO of Emerald Luxury Coaches, and other team members at Emerald. The level that these customers want us to build it is at the highest. Emerald Luxury Coaches is based out of Stephenville, Texas, and John Walker, the president of Emerald, is also the president of Outlaw Conversions, the horse trailer conversion companies. What year did you start Outlaw uh, Conversions, the horse trailer company? Started Outlaw Conversions in 1996. I, I may look young, but I feel a little bit old after doing that. 2007, we topped out at over 700 living quarters a year. So even though Emerald Luxury Coaches is one of the newer Prevo converters on the market, they do come from the conversion industry, converting horse trailers. So we kind of cut our teeth in the, if you will, the rodeo world. If you could keep a living quarters trailer under a guy like Trevor Brazil uh, for over 100 rodeos a year where he wasn't broke down, he could make a living. Uh, it seemed like our, our business really exploded after that. The team at Emerald is an absolute class act and I like the way that they build their coaches. I will leave a link in the description below to some of the videos I did do with John Walker and the team at Emerald. Their philosophy is they try to keep everything simple, clean, easy to fix and keep going down the road. There's a lot of value in Emerald. They're kind of a newer company, but they've really been making a name for themselves. It's loaded with the equipment and in my opinion, the nicest coach on the market right now for under a million dollars. I love the black, white, and silver paint scheme. I've talked about it in other videos, how I feel that those are the best colors for resale value. The emerald badging, everything is very simple, clean. You've got the airphone doorbell. And I have to back up a little bit because the front and rear caps on the emeralds have a taller profile. And this does have the quad awnings. So the awnings are gonna go out on both sides of the coach. Keep in mind the X3 chassis is pushing $700,000 brand new. So there's a lot of value just in the Prevo chassis before the conversion. Bay one is gonna be a very large pass through bay and it's going to have dual slide out trays i like that these are manual very easy very industrial and everything is lined with carpets you have outlets a fire extinguisher and i like that lighting in the bays as well bay two is going to have a ton of storage another slide out tray now this is going to be a half bay and then you do have a tv that will pull out here very simple you just pull on this very smooth and then turn and it does have that dust cover on it right now really nice setup and then i also want to point out you have these lights here uh, that will illuminate at night onto the ground but then when you open your bay doors they're going to illuminate illuminate down as well and i like that they're not shining in your eyes they're at a nice level where they're just kind of lighting up the ground there giving you some under lighting bay three is going to house some of the plumbing equipment i like this exterior cabinetry all very sturdy check out those hinges there's that big marine style heavy duty water pump and then there also is an auxiliary water pump as well for some redundancy there's your water filter you have a bay heater here in this bay as well and everything is very simple this coach does have a 203 gallon diesel fuel tank Michelin tires, date codes of 2020 on the tag, uh, 2020 date codes on the drive as well. Let me check these steer tires. I think they're gonna be all new all the way around, but just wanna double check and 2020 date codes on the steers as well. Now coming around to the back of the coach, I love the emerald styling, a big kind of fin that comes up there. I'm surprised more converters haven't done stuff like that. and the emerald badging just a really tall profile this is going to have the volvo 500 horsepower engine you have a 20,000 pound towing capacity this is a double slide out coach we have the slides in right now and the generator running so you can hear the noise a little bit so in this plumbing bay i believe this is going to be the cooling system to the generator but we also have 
a manifold system, your house battery on off, your watchdog tank monitor, your dump valves, all of that good stuff. And one of the things I really like about these bay doors is when you open and close these, it's so industrial. It's like opening and closing a vault. This bay is gonna house the surge guard, surge protection system, as well as a lot of the electrical components. Get your Crestron, direct TV, all of that good stuff. All very clean, very simple. And then here's the other side of that slide out tray and this is gonna have the zip D chairs here. There are four of those chairs and I like how they have a nice little spot that you can just tuck those into for storage. And then you do have some sewer hose storage here. Very simple, easy to get to. And as we come around to the front end here, really like that emerald styling and the grill. The inside of this coach is what it's all about. It's a bath and a half coach. Let's go take a look inside. So this coach has about 27,450 miles on it. It's a double slide. We have the slide rooms out right now, but uh, in a moment I'll show you what the coach looks like with the slide rooms in. Now the big advantage to this coach is it's on the Prevo shell. It's got the simple Prevo dash with a wood grain steering wheel. You do have that launch port uh, pad up front here. The diamond stitching on these front seats. Now I'm gonna be transparent with the viewers this diamond stitching is just slightly more worn than the passenger seat here. The passenger seat just seems to be holding up a little bit better. And this isn't terrible. I just want to be transparent that it's just not quite as crisp. That can easily be reupholstered though. Now a lot of simple controls out here. I like that there's an outlet right here. Your slide room controls. It's a little fire release button here. A TV lift button. Garmin GPS here, very simple. That's that Prevo cockpit area here in the X3, a nice cup holder for your driver, as well as a little spot to uh, store maps or whatnot. Uh, your passenger does have a step cover that will come over, as well as a cup holder and some uh, simple switches there. And as I come back down here, I like to point out little stuff like these little key rings right here. Always nice to have a place to put key rings and whatnot next to the door and then outlets as well as USB ports. Little grab handles here. And I love the styling here on the inside of this door as well, very beautiful. You do have a button right here where you can lock your baggage doors all by the press of one button. And this is a very simple floor plan with the two recliners. This couch will turn into sleeping, it will fold down. This is a nice uh, floor plan with the two, kind of like a breakfast nook area they call this with the overhead cabinetry. And I do have the generator and ACs uh, going right now, so you may have hear a little bit of background noise, but I have to point out the beautiful work on the ceiling here with all of that lighting. Emerald is very sleek, classy. Face a lot of our designs on high-end yacht, very clean lines, maybe a, a private jet type of look. This coach does have more warmer colors. It's not quite as sterile as some of the other emerald coaches i've seen i like all the details like the woodwork here in the cabinetry you have a good sized galley when we open these up everything is lit up the cabinets are open there so we can access that same area from both places here so you have a lot of storage up there and everything is all in the wrapper in this coach extremely clean viking microwave a little more storage up top here with another outlet wolf induction cooktop with a nice countertop cover that keeps everything flush and a beautiful backsplash I like this it's got the silverware dividers everything is very clean and then this uh, will slide out for additional storage and then here's another spot to put your pots and pans and i like that kind of pegboard they have down there so you can rearrange that stuff to keep your pots and pans in place while going down the road. And I don't believe this coach has a dishwasher because it does have those, but a lot of drawer space here, very deep. I like the hardware. Below the sink here, we're gonna have a little pull-out trash can, as well as a little spot to put your sink covers there and store cleaning supplies or whatnot. And I love the styling they have on these balances. And of course, the big 
part of this coach is the big Prevo windows. Uh, this, is, this is really a touring coach. Fabulous view from this breakfast area. And a lot of countertop space here as well. And then storage overhead. And then as we go into the middle of the coach, a very cool accent wall and it is bright outside. So I don't know if you can see that lighting, but a lot of beautiful lighting. We see more lights around the windows as well. And then here's the refrigerator. It really appears to be like a piece of furniture that's built into the coach with the same face as the cabinets. This is a sub-zero refrigerator. And then you've got the pull-out freezer trays. This is a bath and a half coach, but first I want to show you something that Emerald does. I really like these doors. These doors are manual, which is something I really like. If you want to close off that bathroom area there, beautiful big panels on that door. And a lot of the other converters are going to have either an air door or an electric door, but that's just more stuff that can go wrong and more stuff that can break. So I like that this is manual, keeping stuff simple and a very industrial style locking mechanism here. And, and one thing I also forgot to point out is these beautiful floors that go throughout the entire coach, even onto the slide room here. They have this nice little face of the slide room flooring, has that same material like we saw on the countertop. A bath and a half coach, under a million dollars. Prevo shell, here's the shower in this coach. And I like how Emerald builds the shower in in the middle of the coach there. Just really seems like it just fits well in this area. Plenty of room there. A good size shower head that is adjustable. You're gonna have a vent with a fan up there. Beautiful tile work, as well as a little ledge. And then a towel bar in your shower as well. A couple towel bars here in your shower as well if you wanna hang uh, wet swimsuits or whatnot. So across the shower, I've got to point out just all the beautiful wall panels. And then you're gonna have a bathroom across the way here with your toilet and a sink and a beautiful backsplash pattern and texture on that wall. Uh, we will have storage here above the head all lit up when we open that. And then across from our bathroom is gonna be our washer dryer. This is gonna be a Bosch washer and dryer and a very cozy rear suite here with a king size bed. And so I just closed this door off here, a very cozy inside of this bedroom. Your TV is built into the cabinetry there, but you still have good size windows. I like that how it's not centered, kind of a different style than we see in a lot of coaches. And of course those huge windows behind the bed there. We're gonna have a little extra wardrobe space here and some extra pillows are being stored in here right now. A drawer all finished out. Check out those hinges that they're using as well. Everything is very industrial. The window open and close buttons tucked away in this cabinet. You can vent out those windows on both sides of the coach if you want to get a little cross breeze coming through here. Now one cool thing that this coach does open up here and there's actually a safe hidden back here. All lit up when we open that up and got some of your Crestron controls, but the safe, then a little extra storage there to utilize that space behind your TV. And then more storage below your TV as well. This side of the bed, we're gonna have a little more storage here, and then you do have a little spot to set stuff down bedside there if you do need. And then there's another little countertop space here, bedside, as well as this Crestron control where you can control your blinds, lighting, climate control, generator, all that good stuff. And here's that airphone uh, air door that I told you about. You can see who's at the doorbell while you're laying in bed. This is a bath and a half coach. So the rear bedroom here has a half bathroom. So the shower's in the middle of the coach, but nice to have your own little toilet here in the back of the coach as well. And beautiful styling throughout. You've got a window in your bathroom and good amount of space in here little medicine cabinet with outlets and then a good amount of storage below the sink as well. Now we still have a huge walk-in closet here in the back of the coach even though it's got a bath and a half and a king and you've got hanging space here as well as hanging space that wraps around and countertop space. Some good drawers here. This is going to be access to a lot of your breakers and everything is very simple, very clean. I really like the simple styling that Emerald does. 
Here's a quick look at what the coach looks like while it's going down the road with the slide rooms in. I say we give John Walker, the president of Emerald Luxury Coaches, a call real quick and see if he knows anything about this coach. John Walker, how you doing, sir? I'm good, man. How's it going? I'm just filming this this 17 Emerald right now, and I didn't know if you had any knowledge on this coach or uh, if you'd recommend, you know, for it or against it or anything. The one that I saw in Bradley's place. Yes, sir. That's a great coach. I mean, the only information. I mean, I I don't know who owned it last. I, but the coach, as far as service, it's been very well maintained. And, you know, whoever's owned it a lot of times, to be honest with you, Andrew, they had put a lot of miles on it. They've been just more of a show bus than a <laughs> than a go bus, you know? Yeah. Look, the guy that originally bought the coach, he's on two emeralds. That was his second one. And, you know, he, he didn't use it a lot. He, him and his wife used it for certain shows that they went to been a good coach as far as service in there. I just heard it from the man. He said this is a good coach, low miles, and just a class act organization out there in Stephenville, Texas. Now the best part about this coach is the way that it drives. So I'm gonna do another video test driving this coach. And as soon as that is live, I will make sure to leave it in the description below. But I highly doubt this coach will last on the market long, being a bath and a half late model Prevo for under a million dollars. And especially when you look at the inventory out there, there's just not a lot of these late model Prevos available because they're in such high demand and they're such a higher quality coach over the production motorhomes out there. So if you are a serious buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait at the Motor Coach Store. His information will be at themotorcoachstore.com. I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. <music>